Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, it's not completed. Stand corrected. So, what are you doing now? Um. Well. Doing a bit of weaving. Yeah. But before any of that, roll intro. Good morning, kids. <laughs> Vous avez beaucoup de choses à faire aujourd'hui? Allez-y. Allons-y. It's not formal, is it? <laughs> Accidentally bought pellets for them yesterday. They don't like it. <laughs> right, that's two days in the chop. Got chicken poo on my finger. Anyway, good morning for the southwest of France. It's threatening, threatening to be a nice day today. Who knows? <laughs> Just who knows? Anyway, massive apologies for yesterday's debacle on the video. It, it clipped, it ended at the good bit <laughs> where Jack from, from Growing in France was doing the sunglasses thing. Uh, I know what the problem was. It's down to me and my tardy editing and uploading. Sorry, the editing was alright. Anyway, what I'm going to do now, well, in a minute, is I'll show you that clip. I did upload it again. But for those of you that saw two lots of videos, thought, well, I'm only going to watch one. Um, I will do that clip and the rest of the day. Now, I've got quite a bit on today. I've got to do some log chopping again. Um, I've got that training course um, for the charity that I'm going to be a uh, peer support worker at. Uh, as a volunteer, not, not getting paid. Um, yeah, there's a. Um, it's Wednesday, isn't it? Yes, yes, the kids are, are off school. I was asked about um, school start time. Now it's slightly different between the uh, the kids in the in the junior school and the senior school. But but from the point of view from the kids in the junior school, it's it's a nine o'clock start. So doors open at eight fifty, and uh, finish at sixteen thirty, four thirty p.m. Um, the kids in the in the in the um, in the nursery bit, um, they're like just they are dispatched like paratroopers, bang on, half four. Um, <laughs> as soon as the church bells comes, the doors open and they're uh, and they're uh, one thousand, two thousand, three thousand check canopy. But um, but the ones in the junior school, it could be any time between the sixteen thirty and sixteen forty. But uh, it all depends on on when they've finish the work um, every Wednesday off like I've said um, yeah they don't go to school on Saturday yeah, that's a common common misconception I don't know whether that was the case in in the 80s <laughs> that's what we all thought back in the 80s um, but they have um, every half term holidays two weeks and the summer holidays start right at the beginning of July right through to September so it's like eight weeks eight weeks holiday a year people have asked wh where the sunglasses thing comes from go and have a look at the video um, a bit further back, a good few months ago. I think it's called Entitled Day. Uh, oh my God, watch how me and my brother tackle this big bush in, in the southwest of France. Um, anyway, <laughs> I've got a few thank yous. Start that again, fat head. <laughs> Right, I just want to thank the very, very regular commenters on the channel. It, it really helps. Right, so I'm going to thank, and this is in, in no particular order, it's who popped into my head this morning. Uh, anyone for music, massive thank you. Loco 4 Pat Gary, thank you from America. L Limousin Live, Gaz from Limousin, although he lives in Ecosse at the moment, Scotland. Um, Kathy Eyes Open, thank you. 
uh, Kath Smith, Kathy Green, The Mainer 1267. I, d I don't know what that is. Uh, Charmis, I, th I think that's how you pronounce it. Dorothy Diane Parker. I I'm pretty sure it's just your Diane Parker. A apologies, Albert. Albert, if uh, if you're French, I'm not sure. Albert Thaymaker? They major? I don't know. So, I'm so, so sorry. Brigitte Lacour. Thank you. Probably pronounced that wrong again. Um, Annette Sherrick. Les Blakeman. Diane Smith. D. Lewis and the Baxters. There's loads more that that are regular. So apologies if, if I've missed anyone off. Tell me off if I have, and I'll and I'll give you a mention tomorrow. Anyway, right, stuff to do. Got the training course in 19 minutes time, so I need to get onto that, um, and then be a dad. <laughs> right, let's do that. Whatever that is. <coughs> right. So we're here in Angoulême with Jack and Bex from Growing in France. Link in the description. Q slow mo. Ah, perfect. <laughs> One. One, two, three, laters! <laughs> Right, so many hours have passed. I've just done the, the three hour training course, the final one, I believe. Um, so I can become a, a support, a peer support worker, uh, working uh, for the charity Police Care UK. So uh, I don't know when I'm gonna be deployed into the field. Oh, well, that's knackery, that's taking around me. It just reminded me being back at work. Anyway, uh, weather's stunning at the moment. It's really, really nice. But, uh, yeah, somebody mentioned the other day about the, about the hens following me. Yeah, they follow me even when I've got no food. Does that make me the, the Pied Piper of this hamlet? <laughs> Sorry. Who wants a veggie patch update? I know I do. <laughs> He's been poorly for the past couple of days. He's not been himself. He's like, uh, didn't seem to be in pain or anything. He wasn't um, panting. Um, he did find it difficult to get up and down the sofas, but he wasn't uh, wasn't limping. He's all right now. He's like completely really snapped out of it. He just looked a little bit depressed, bless him. But he's fine now. He's chasing balls. And yeah, he's about to suck a hen. Stand by. All right, do you guys want to go back in? No. Go. On. You're a bit thick, aren't you? Go. On, get in. Yeah, I can't squish through that. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Right. Let's get a live time. Live time. Live time. Update. Let's do that. Right. So what's occurred in? You planted the carrots because they because they're good in frost. Well, they can withstand a light frost. A light frost, yeah. Um, so as long as you don't go into. So where are they? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They're my carrots. So these have come from the potting shed. Yeah. Into here now. So yeah, here. and then the carrot seeds. So I've got them at different levels. So these are baby carrots. These are normal carrots. Yeah. Which are already growing, and then this is seeds. Yeah. Which I've planted, so they'll come after these ones are ready. And I worked out what this is with my plant finder. So the plants which I found um, it, are actually borage. So I'm going to put those straight into the beds that I was going to grow them in as they're growing already. And is borage a companion plant? Yeah. Wow. So you can put it with carrots and put it in there. Because you can't put it with everything.
Okay, so this is the strawberry plant. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's growing nicely in there. Yeah. That's Monge 2. This is Monge 2. Um, but they're what I found on the floor already growing, so I've tried to put them into the soil. Over there. Where I the greenhouse was. There, yeah, yeah, on the floor. Sprouting. <laughs> so I've saved them. Like, so up. these are spring onions. You can see them popping up. Yeah. They were grown from seed wow. directly in the ground, so they've been growing. C'est bon. So, so this was off our chimney stack. Yeah, and then I've just put some of these um, butterfly mix flowers yeah. into the soil. And they've already started sprouting through. So I'll mm. just put a few more in. What are these for then? What do you mean? Well, just to make it look pretty. Yeah. yeah. It's not a companion flower. No. Well, I suppose it is because it will attract the... Um, Wildlife, won't it? Yeah. You want a fun French fact before I go back over to the vegetable patch because I've just been given a job to do. Um, so, these here are called tie rods. Now, you see them a lot in rural France and that's because um, mainly buildings like this in rural France have got no footings, foundations if you're, if you're from America. <laughs> um, and so, to stop buildings collapsing, now you can see a slight bow out to the wall, to the yeah, to the side. I'm not going to show you with this camera because it, I don't think it will catch it. But there's one at either side of the building. Now, <laughs> uh, I didn't really understand how they work, but uh, right, I'll show you <laughs> because um, we've always noticed like a, a bit of boxing in on the um, on the upstairs landing that goes right across our bedroom and Robbie and Angel's bedroom. We, we always thought it was for piping. It's not, I'll show you. So this that that bit of boxing in that I was telling you about, so if I pull that back. So that there runs right along our room. And then through there into Robbie and Angel's room. Yeah, so that rod attaches to that. There's one on the other side of the building. And then they tighten it up. <laughs> and it stops the walls bowing out. So somebody at some point has decided that this building was structurally unsafe and that I needed a, a tie rod but uh, fingers crossed it won't fall down but there you go, fun French fact fun French fact Right, so English runner beans and Mons 2 are going in here so Lisa's constructed this construction and uh, I need to uh, secure it so, right I've already done half of it and Lisa said I'm surprised you're not filming it and I said me too Right. Let's film that. Apparently it's, it's not completed. Stand corrected. So what are you doing now? Um well doing a bit of weaving. Yeah. My granddad used to grow beans and this is what he used to do. So you then have to do supports going this way as well.
Yeah. All the way down? <laughs> oh, I'm not filming that. <laughs> Right, so there we have it. Lovely, beautiful day here in France. Hopefully that means spring has, has officially started. Um, yeah, tomorrow, you know, we started this channel uh, to give people advice on the post-Brexit coming over to, over to France. Well, it's going to go back to them. It's going to go back to that tomorrow. We've got to uh, have a medical, Lisa and I. Um, and because the medical is in Poitiers, which is about an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes away, so it's not even in our in our department. Um, we're gonna have to take the kids out of school because we can't drop them off and get there at the same time. So um, yeah, we'll do a bit of recording of the medical, not the procedure though, not that. Anyway, if you like these videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Of course, bugger all. Have a comment. You know, I like a comment, and uh, leaves one last thing left to say. It's not from me. Not to me. It's not from me. It's not from me either. <laughs> Laters! Laters.